the biggest turnout the U.S. Poker Open has ever seen. This is the final table of event number seven, a $10,000 buy-in no limit hold'em tournament. Welcome back to Las Vegas, Nevada, and our continuing coverage of the USPO from inside the Poker Go studio. Jeff Pot alongside Brent Hanks in the broadcast booth, and Brent, 99 entries for this one, the largest field in the history of Poker Go majors. That's right, Jeff. The engine's fired up, and the Cadillac of poker is in cruise control. Oh, that was nice. Taking a look at our leaderboard presented by Global Poker Free Poker at its best. Brent, how about the 2019 USPO champ, David Peters, on top? You never count him out. 2019 came out of nowhere. Looking to do the same here, Jeff. Jared Jaffe in second. Alex Foxen, Andrew Lucky, Chewy Lichtenberger, Brock Wilson, Ivan Zhufich, and Dan Shack round out our final table. Shack with sixes here and about eight bigs. Here comes Wall Street. We know the title means so much to Dan Shack. Sixth right now in the standings, Jeff, for the U.S. Poker Open. This is a critical all in for him. This is his third cash of the series. Okay. Second place in event number one. Ninth place in event five. Peters in the exact oh. same spot. Yeah. Just has yeah. to call a hand too good. And here we go once again. Dan Shack, the one all in and at risk. Told us he was very aware of the series standings going into this one. He did a top three finish yeah. today to take the lead in the series. Need to win this to have a shot at that. What did your family think? Were they the, a little bit at the beginning, yeah. but so now my parents are very big supporters. It's nice. Ace on the flop. Not good news for Dan Shack. Turn is a queen. A lot of pressure with tournaments because you go to a See the outs on the top the of your screen. Like, go. I'm like, Shaq will need a six it, it and a six but, uh, only I think I made the right decision, like, to stay alive. A lot of luck involved. Eight on the river, and yeah. that'll do it yeah, for Dan Shaq. More points on the board for Good Wall luck, Street everyone. Dan. He's going to go hop in the next event, Jeff. Absolutely. That seventh place finish earns him another 50 it's points. It's a lot easier to digest. If up to like 236 points. Someone this be hard talented. To yeah. yeah. Should not be allowed to run so well. <laughs> Six four diamonds for Peters here in the small mine. Zhufich in the big. About 10 bigs. On. There it is. Rip City, max pressure. Zhufich looks down at King 8. Yeah. Uh, I have a feeling this is just going to go in. This is a hand he should be calling with as the ultimate short stack. Peters shoving wide. Zhufich knows that. King 8 is a qualifier. Taking a look at the other stacks at the table. Certainly don't fault him here for being hesitant. It's his first and major live final table. Here we go. Does make the call. Zhufich, the one all in and at risk with King 8 against the 6-4 Diamonds. David Peters. Peters, the 40% underdog here, as you see on the bottom left corner of your screen. Zhufich looking to get back to 20 bigs. Six in the window as it comes a seven six with one diamond. Zhufich now looking for a king or an eight. Does that backdoor straight draws? Turn card. It's another ace. A seven would do the trick for Zhufich. Nine outs looking for a king, an eight, or a seven to stay alive. It's a nine on the river, and that will do it for Ivan. Zhufich, Brent out in sixth place for $59,400. Yeah, I know it's not the result he was hoping for today. The final tables, a major sixth place finish. Out, David. He's made his mark. This kid has got a bright future in this game. Wonderful story. Uh, like a hot take, Jeff. All Unless you get Foxen. the cards, you're in trouble. Jaffe has the cards here, makes the call with the ace king of spades. Alex Foxen with King Jack. 
Got a three to one underdog here. We'll need to get lucky in order to stay alive. Second time that Jaffe has cooled off Foxen in a blind on blind confrontation. Just before the final table, Foxen had fives, Jaffe had aces. And now again, Jaffe has Foxen in terrible shape. King Jack versus Ace King. Foxen versus Jaffe. Foxen the one at risk. Comes Ace 10 4, Aces for Jaffe. Gut shot now for Foxen. Everything goes better. Looking for a queen. Magic. Can he find it on the turn? He cannot. Can he find it on the river to stay alive? Ooh, we cannot. It's paint yeah. on the river, but it is a jack. We say good game good to Alex Foxen out in fifth for $79,200 and 79 points in the race for the U.S. Poker Open Series Championship. Jaffe sizing up on the race, perhaps trying to limit any defense from Andrew Lichtenberger here. I think that's exactly what this is supposed to accomplish. I don't know if it's going to work, though, Jeff. 6-5 suited. Lichtenberger trying to connect C3. He may recognize why Jaffe is sizing mm. it up. Cool. And will defend. And we'll see a five on the flop. 750K behind, as you see in the bottom left corner of your screen. And he's genuinely now deciding if he should just move it all in with middle pair in order to deny equity from overcards that could potentially hit the turn if Jaffe decides to check back. Jaffe knows that Lichtenberger is probably defending with something like this, you know, a, a middling sort of hand. And he says, the heck with it. I'm going to put it in anyway. Lichtenberger happy to make the call with the fives. And here we go. Lucky Chewy, the one all in and at risk, but in good shape. Yep. At least for the moment. Jaffe could find an ace at Jack. Does have a backdoor straight draw. See the turn. The turn is a jack. Lucky Chewy now has to spike a six or a five on the river to stay in this tournament. And he oh, does just that. My goodness. That's why they call him Lucky Chewy. A five ball on the river for Lichtenberger. And just like that, he's up to more than two million in chips. Welcome back. In the ball game now, Jeff. More than 20 bigs and, oh, Jaffe, he's sick to his stomach. But kind of enjoyed the dramatic run out. Well, he's so used to the pain the in this game. He's been here a million yeah. times. Ace 10 of hearts on the button for Peters. He will also size up a little bit. Yeah, and how about this adjustment, too, knowing that Lichtenberger has more than 20 bigs. Ace 10 suited is a hand he's trying to induce him with, Lichtenberger, and price out Mr. Wilson. Who has Ace 5. A very difficult spot, but let's see if Mr. Wilson can sniff this out. Why wouldn't Peters just move it in pre? He's questioning. Why would he size it up to 275? He may recognize that he's in a really bad spot. Uses a time extension, granting him an additional 30 seconds to act. Uh, would he do that with King Jack, King Queen? Making this ace high good. He's flipping a coin right now, really. Cool. 
make the call, leaving himself 250k behind. And flopping a five as it comes king seven five with two hearts. See that Wilson is now the slight favorite. The rest of it goes in. Peters makes the call. Here we go. Brock Wilson, the one all in and at risk with ace five against the ace ten of hearts from David Peters. Peters looking for a heart or a ten. It wasn't a second ago, but now Also has a backdoor straight draw. You want to complain about that? <laughs> I don't think that one was a complaint, but. See the turn. Oh boy. Three of hearts on the turn, and that yeah. will lock it up for yeah. David Peters. Well, we say good game to Brock much. Wilson. Brent <laughs> out in fourth place for $89,100. Boy, and did he ladder himself yeah. up and up and up. Never had any chips. Found, his, uh, found a way to make money despite the adversity. We're going to see this young phenom for a number of years. <laughs> Mr. Wilson. A bit pained by that turn car. Yeah, I mean, it's just. A... Peters with Jack 10. Come on. All of it. I have a good feeling. Let's see. Well, that's a good feeling. He does look down at an ace. Oh. Does make the call. How does he know? He just knows. It's Lucky Chewy. But will the ace I hold here? Good luck to everyone involved. <laughs> <laughs> An impartial well wish. <laughs> Lichtenberger, the one all in and at risk. I'm just rooting for an entertaining battle. You don't want it to end right away in the first three. No, no. Let's let's have some changes. You of want fortunes. a saga? I want yeah. some changes of like I have. <laughs> Seven nine three. Oh boy, how about it's Jack Jack 10? <laughs> Jack's full. Oh more. my goodness. I see one rep as well. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best, huh? <laughs> Seriously, how is this guy this I'm good? I guess he didn't fold an ace. Okay. I did not that will do it for Lucky Chewy. Isn't it better that way than to just be tortured, you know? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so. Yeah, that is true. You're such a fucking boss, it's incredible. <laughs> I mean, good luck, boys. I, you. Your game, boy. Out in third for one hundred eighteen thousand eight hundred dollars. It would come down to the two of us after that. One hundred nineteen right? points in the race for the well, series championship. You know, an absolute class act and an icon of you. the game. Yeah, one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet on and away from the table, Andrew Lichtenberger. He's a true ambassador for this industry. Yourself. Ace nine for Jaffe. Again, limps in. Cool. Peters with deuces. Uh oh. Unless Peters has picked up All something. On. All here of it. Here we go. This is going in. Call. Jaffe call. makes the call, and here we go. Jared Jaffe, the one all in and at risk yeah. with ace right. nine against the deuces of David Peters. I figured I'd get like one of these where I was ahead. <laughs> It's Peters the one who is slightly ahead. It's Peters the one closing in on this title. See if I can beat Deuces twice today. <laughs> Jaffe versus Peters. Comes the flop. Queen Jack six with two diamonds. diamonds? Jaffe does have the ace of diamonds. A lot of pretty this turn cards for him, but for now, uh, looking for an ace or a nine. Turn card. Oh, it's a nine. Nine of spades on the turn. The big tuna out in front. Just got to avoid a duck on the pond. One Two card outs to go. for Peters for the win. That's another nine. Jared Jaffe doubles up. We have a queen three this time for Peters on the button. Cool. Does slop a queen. Check. Check. 
Check. Does check back. Does turn another queen. Jaffe does have the six of spades in his hand. He's going to go for it. Reaches. Gives himself a chance with that six of spades. Betting just over the min. Peters just calls. River is a six. That could change things now. A disaster card for Jaffe, potentially. Uh, Peters just calling with trips, keeps the door open to allow Jared Jaffe to continue with all of his bluffs. This time it's changing. This is a value bet by Jaffe. Mm -hmm. Betting 400000 There's that Peter's pause. Are we about to see a, a raise? 1.25. There it is. Yeah. Very under repped hand. 1.25 million. Jared thought he was value betting the river. He is now perplexed. So it's okay. You have a flush, a queen, or nothing. Perhaps a multitude of bluffs that Peters would fire off here. He has put Jaffe in a difficult position. Use a time extension, granting him an additional 30 seconds to act. Jaffe calls here. He's going to be in a ton of trouble going forward in this match, Jeff. Another time extension will be used. Peters get paid off on the river here. The answer is yes. Trip Queens for David Peters. That's beautiful stuff by David Peters. And now 10 million in chips. Wow. The momentum has completely shifted. Jaffe is feeling it right now. Peters, ah, well, you wouldn't know that he's bothered by That's anything. That's true. <laughs> Emotionless. Does limp in here. Jaffe checks the 8-4. Jack 4-3, all clubs. Bottom two pair for Peters. No club in either player's hand. Pair of fours for Jaffe. Certainly Peters now going to bet top and bottom. The ultimate question is what do we do for Jared Jaffe? We don't have a club in our hand. We have a vulnerable middle pair of fours. Is the best plan to simply check call, or could we check raise in hopes of just taking it down right then and there? Oh, A four on the turn. Trip force for Jaffe, but a full house for David Peters. A disaster for Jaffe, who had it all going in the right direction, Jeff. With one million in the pot... Peters now understanding if I'm up against a jack, he's never folding. If I'm up against a flush somehow, he's never folding.
than likely. However, we need to price them accordingly. Six fifty. At price six hundred fifty thousand. Jeffy may believe he's just hit Jen here. Cool. Jaffe check calls. <laughs> the Ripper is at nine. Close to that eight ball. 2.3 million in the pot. Check. Question now for Peters is how much. Mm -hmm. We're up against the same sort of hands that we thought we were up against on the turn. Jack, potentially a flush. Could it be the case for all running through his mind right now? Would he consider an overbet? Ten seconds. Knowing that those hands would not fold. Time extension. Hello, a time extension. Has an additional 30 seconds to act. Massive pot developing here. How much does Peters go for on the river? Ten seconds. Two point seven five. It is an over bet. It is two point seven five million. The snap called by Jaffe. He will see the oh full house. God. Peters gets paid. How about the timing with that mm. overbet? The last time he did it, he was bluffing and got looked up by Jaffe. This That's time, pretty, he shows him the goods in the most critical good. pot of the entire tournament thus far. Peters. Just has that feeling like Peters has taken all the jelly out of Jared's Ooh, donut. Yeah. Peters with ace eight. I have 1.275. Thank you. Back. Mon. Owen. Jaffe with. Call. King oh. Deuce makes the call, and here we go. Deuce always have cards. <laughs> Jared Jaffe all in and at risk with the King Ooh. Deuce. Peters, oh, so close to this win, to this title. Can his ace eight hold? Deuce, deuce. If Jaffe wins, he'd be back up to almost 4.8 million. Comes 10 4 4. Jaffe trying to find a king or a deuce. Will it come on the turn? It will be an eight on the turn. Jaffe down to three outs. You see him on the top of your screen. A king and a king only to keep this tournament going. The river is a seven, and that is it. David Peters has his third career U.S. Poker Open title. He wins event number seven, the 10K no limit, for more than $217,000. What? A showing. That is one way to get your first cash of the series. Why don't you just win the whole thing? D. Peets collects another victory at the U.S. Poker Open, Jeff. All of a sudden, a contender for the championship.